Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to show you a tutorial on how I do my social media posts on a daily basis. This is just for my personal accounts. I'll go through my Instagram account here, take a look. Every morning at 5 a.m. I automatically post an image with text that is a daily quote. This happens without any input or interaction from me. I do this all automatically with make.com. My Twitter displays the same message. Twitter doesn't show an image because I don't pay the $500 a month for the upgraded API, but the free app allows me to automate a text post. On LinkedIn, I have it post the text along with the image, just like I do on Instagram. Many of my followers on LinkedIn comment on how much they appreciate seeing my posts, and it has fostered fruitful interactions. All of these quotes come from a Google Sheet that I created called Success Quotes. The spreadsheet contains 82 different quotes, so I will run through all of them roughly four times each year. My scenario is set up to pull a random quote so they won't get posted sequentially from the spreadsheet. Here's what the scenario looks like from the start. So, we've got Google Sheets as our first module. I have it set to use my spreadsheet success quotes that I showed you. We know it only has 82 rows, or 83 with the header row, but I still have the maximum number of returned rows set to 100. Next, we're going to take all the rows from the Google Sheet and put them into an array. We do this with the Array Aggregator module. I've selected category and quote so that it will be easy for us to sift through the data to pull the quote we want for our social media post. Now we are going to set a variable to a random number based on the number of items in our array. To do this, we use the random function inside of make.com and use the length of the array as the boundary for our randomization. We're going to take that variable and use it to create another variable that will be used to pull the random quote. So if the random number comes back as three, then it will pull the third quote in the array. If the random number comes back as 17, it will pull the 17th quote in the array. This should be pretty straightforward, but if you need help with this, please feel free to leave a comment. The next step that I did was to put in a router module. I did this because I'm not able to post the image to Twitter because of the basic API limitations. This is just a preference. You could take this router out and just delete it, go through the full process that generates the image, and then post to Twitter at the end of the scenario with Instagram and LinkedIn if you prefer. With the Twitter module, or I guess it's X now, I just select create a new post and use the variable we set as the post we pulled from the array. It's that simple. Now let's look at our Unsplash module. I'm using the List A Collections Photos module for Unsplash. In this module, it asks me for a collection ID so that it can get the list of photos from that collection. If you don't already have an Unsplash account, you can go there and create one for free to be able to use the API. There are limits, but I have yet to surpass them using this scenario. In Unsplash, you can go through and add images to a collection. Once you've done that, you can get your collection ID from the URL. Take that collection ID and put it in your make.com Unsplash module. This will return a list of all of the photos that are in that collection. Next, we're going to do the same thing we did originally with our Google Sheet to generate a random number based on the total items in the collection. I do the same steps we did at the beginning of our scenario to run through the array and get the ID of the photo we want to use from Unsplash. Then I use the Get a Photo Unsplash module and input the variable we just set for the image to pull the data about that image. Once this step is completed, we'll have the URL to the image to be able to use it in our next step. Next, I have all the information I need to send a request to API template.io to build out my image that has the writing on it. If you haven't used the API template.io, it's a great tool that will allow you to generate images with text overlays dynamically from within make.com. The free version, which is what I use, allows you 50 free credits per month. So in generating a daily image, I'm using less than the 50 allowance. As you can see, the image in my template looks just like the posts that I have been putting on my social media accounts. This is because I built out the template and just have to pass my variables through the API to generate the proper background and text, which I do using their key value pairs. API template.io provides a list of all the properties and values, which are essentially the key value pairs that make.com needs to pass through to customize your image. Next, I use another router module so that I can post to multiple social media accounts, starting with LinkedIn. LinkedIn requires the image and not the image URL, so we need to add an HTTP get a file module and input the URL of the image output from API template.io. Then in the LinkedIn module, we use the file that we obtained in the previous module, as well as any text we want to post along with our image. In a future version of this, I may start leveraging ChatGPT to write something about how the quote makes me feel or what this quote means to me, kind of details to accompany the post to make it more engaging and human-like. 
To complete my scenario, I add an Instagram module to create a photo post and input the data in the appropriate fields to post my image and text the way I want it to be displayed. Again, I think this would be another good place to leverage ChatGPT to write additional information about the post, rather than just regurgitating the quote itself. I hope you enjoyed this step-by-step -step walkthrough. I'll follow up this video with a full how-to where I start from scratch, develop content and put it into a spreadsheet, and build through this automation in full so you can see it from start to finish, and not just a quick walkthrough. I appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Please like, subscribe, and share. If you have any comments, questions, or any requests for future content, please let me know. Thanks and have a great day.